Right, I am on the shuttle. <laughs> Bon voyage, Mr. Mansfield. Bon voyage. <laughs> I think they do French passport control this side. Yeah. Do you do police control, English passport control, then French passport control? Mm. That's what I believe. Really. Yeah, because once you go through passport control, control, you're in the other country, kind of. Oui, oui. Au revoir. <laughs> We're out of here. The gas is now off, all good to go. Now just gotta get through French passport control. Handle my firearms in, <laughs> like it asked nicely. <laughs> well, this ain't France, is it? Because we're still on the right side of the road. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Soon. Soon. <laughs> You're gonna be shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite tight. Hmm. You got uh, yes, yeah, the curb that you probably have to watch for. This is the typical classic shot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Second in the queue, we parked up, and I've got a special guest with me. Hey! Bonjour. <laughs> he's having problems with free at the moment. He's trying to get his international roaming all set up, so he's a little stressed out. He's a little stressed out. Um, but me, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just contemplating how I'm going to deal with the wrong side of the road, and maybe just inform you that there's three types of roundabouts. Some give way to you, you give way to them, some give way on the mo on the roundabout. Um, well, it's all going to be fun. I said to either my new Tom Tom will help me out or we'll have a problem. On the right side of the road. <laughs> yeah, until we get to a roundabout. Uh, this is my first ever time doing this. Throughout all of Asia, I have been on the <laughs> left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You had to think there, didn't you? I <laughs> did, yes. yeah. I think solar panels. Yeah. Right, we're on here for 29 kilometers. Let's kick back and relax. Confidence is building. <laughs> That's easy. It feels alright. There he is. Ah. Oh. That's the one, isn't it? That's what he said. Hey, I guess. Success! Right. Made to France. Let's go shopping. Now this isn't <laughs> I just saw the best thing ever. I just saw a little French kid with a baguette. I don't know why I started laughing. Oh now I'm in the vegetable aisle. We're in a hyper market. We've just turned up. We survived the roads and now we need to get some shopping. So <laughs> we're having a little look around. But that just tickled me. I don't know why that tickled me. <laughs> look at all the wings. Literally a whole section. Of wings, rotisserie wings, barbecue wings, Mexican wings, pepper wings, curry wings. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Look, donuts. Chicken donuts. Straight out of the farm, they are. <laughs> right, <laughs> so that's my first time in an ocean. 
Or Shan? Or Shan? Well, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, to say that was overwhelming was the biggest understatement in the world. <laughs> I come out, so I, I wanted to buy loads, but it was so overwhelming I come out with a packet of eggs and a, mind, a tiny pizza and one packet of wings. And that is it. That is it. I just spent 10 euros. I've got a whole trolley to get a big shop. And that is all we got. Um, that place is flipping huge. And honest to God, if the car park's free, I will probably spend an entire day in there one day. Probably not with Mev, because I can't see him wanting to walk around that place for an entire day. I, on the other hand, could. Um, and I'd quite enjoy it. Just crazy. I mean, they've got the such a massive section just of chicken, and then you get to turkey, and then you get to like the actual butcher section where they've got all marinades, and then they've got all the kebab. Oh my god! I mean, it's like meat heaven. It really is. And I didn't even look at all the patisserie section and all the breads and and all that. We didn't really do that much. But what's the time? About half eight. Eight, half eight? Uh, 20 past. 20 past eight in the evening. So we're going to chuck this in the van and then go find a park up. Uh, I think we found a few on park for night. So we'll go find a park up and then just chill and then try and come up with a plan to do things a bit better tomorrow. I mean, it is our first. We've only just traveled over. We were pretty behind on time because the uh, train was, I think, an hour and a half late leaving yeah, like in that. the end. Um, yeah, about an hour and a half late leaving, so, but we're here now, so we're going to go find a park up and then we'll chuck some pizzas on and kick back and relax. Right, look, it's a goose. It's a f***ing goose. Look, and a, and a dog. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Good morning, you lovely lot. Right, me and Mevy have survived the first night in France. <laughs> it was not It was not uh, bad at all. It was really peaceful where we're parked up. Uh, parked up around a lake, which is like a moat around what I believe was an old castle, maybe. I am not a history buff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'll go look at the sign and I'll show you the sign in a minute. <laughs> yeah, literally, we uh, just kind of collapsed last night um we had a pizza each a small little pizza each which we got when we were overwhelmed in the uh, supermarket didn't make it properly but we made up the bed in the lounge how was that man it's all right it's Pre okay. pretty comfortable yeah, comfortable yeah. um so i was down that end Mev was down this end um yeah no no real bother um pretty easy <laughs> we've uh got up we've been looking at where we're going to go today what we're going to do because we've not actually got much to do until uh, Monday uh, when we're meeting John Mandy, John and Tash in Amsterdam. And me looking at a map, I was thinking, oh, it's, gonna, you know, it's quite far away, you know. It's really not. It's like that much on a map. Then, yeah, Mev's phone's not working because he's on free and he can't get hold of them and they can't turn roaming on. And he's had a bit of a palaver with it. So we're going to go... Find somewhere we can park near the middle of Dunkirk. That's going to be a task in itself. Then go to the phone shop, get a SIM card. Then find a supermarket and actually do some proper shopping. Not just walk around and go, oh my God, oh my God, there's too much stuff. I'm overwhelmed. Um, get a bit of shopping and then go find a park up. This is where we spent the night. We parked up here and yeah, lovely... Uh, Lovely water. There's a what looks like a goose there. I think that's actually a grey lag. I don't think he likes me to be fair. Kind of gave me a bit of a hiss. Uh, people fishing here and then down here. Looks like a pretty good place to fish to be fair. Um, they've got a board here which I'll show you. There's all the fish that are in there and that's where we are at the moment and how big it is. So it does say you are allowed to fish, you need a license and that. Like there's a guy fishing there now and a guy fishing here. When I'm back in France for a bit more long, uh, a bit longer, uh, in a couple of weeks, then I will uh, start fishing. But I might stop here on the way back to Calais when I come back, uh, when I'm going back to uh, England um, and getting the train back over. So I might stop here for the night, do some fishing, and then yeah, see what happens. 
But, right, let's go crack on and find some internet. <laughs> right, I know I've got cool shades on and I know I look a gangster. Don't need to mention that. Parked up down some side street. There's the canal just there. There's Mev. Um, and yeah, so we've been down here. We went to try and get further down. There was a car park down there, a bit tight. I, I nearly <laughs> nearly wiped out a car because they parked on the end where they weren't meant to, which meant uh, a million shunts. Um, but yeah, parked up down there behind a the lorry. And now we're going to walk down here, see the kebab shop, see the kebab shop. So we're going to have a little look down, going to go find the internet shop and the kebab shop, have some lunch and uh, yeah, see what else we can find. It's a lovely day. So just in the three shop, um, F-R-E-E, -E, not the number three. Um, uh, I'm just, I've got my SIM card ready for the motorhome. So I've got, I can connect to the Wi-Fi and all that. And all my SIM card, uh, all my CCTV can be on as well as my Alexa and everything like that. Um, mine was 20 euros for the month, which gives me 210 gig. Um, gives me unlimited, um, calls and texts and all that but I don't need that because it's going into the modem um, here Mavi's doing his um, so I think his is like 13 euros gets about 120 gig again calls and texts these are the machines so you can just come along you get your details and you just bits out there yeah 10 minutes I'll be working so yeah easy easy um, and then I can go online, set up my account, and I can then activate it for another month later on online. So yeah, all good. One thing I did want to mention is as we stepped in, we were a bit unsure whether we needed ID. Now I only had my bank cards, maybe I had his driving license, but didn't need a passport, didn't need any ID, just your bank card. They don't accept American Express, which I tried. Um, but yeah, no ID needed. And the lady was really helpful. She spoke a little bit of English and it went, went was easy, simple as, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Easy. Okay. Even I could do it. <laughs> easy, easy. Now we're going to go find some food. So obviously we're in France, so we're trying the local delicacies. I've got a kebab panini and maybe he's got a Mexican, a Mexican panini, but we did get a ham and cheese one to split between us and, uh, you know, try the locals, the local uh, normal one. Yeah, you know paninis are not French, don't you? Oh, come on. Well, that's all they're selling around here, isn't it? Oh, and the church is now making some noise. Dinging its bells. Well, that's where me and maybe have just eaten uh, paninis. Absolutely amazing. There is quite a lot of noise going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're in, we're in Dunkirk, um, nice statue there. Um, I think it's Jean Bart. I don't know anything about it, but it looks nice. It's a nice area. Um, He's probably committed horrible atrocities against <laughs> some, some people. <laughs> yeah, but he won a war for some others. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's what statues are. Yeah. Some people got it good and some people got Look it bad. bad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it looks something to do, looks nautical. I think he's got a cannon up there. And pigeons. Yeah, there's a lot of pigeons. Ads would love this place. It's a nice square. There's lots of food places to eat, lots of little shops. I have noticed, well, me and Mev have noticed, there's lots of lingerie shops. Isn't there? Yeah. I think we've <laughs> I think we've counted about five so far. <laughs> and it's like yeah, and I've only seen one kebab shop. We've not been so, there any. So, yeah, yeah, I haven't not bought anything. I haven't bought a little teddy bear or anything. <laughs> a saucy little number. It's a nice area. And I'm now nice and full. Honest to God, that kebab panini with cheese and some really nice sauce in there. I don't know what it was, but it was something else. Oh, another church. That is a church, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Mev, have we are stuffed. We've just come out of a little restaurant over there. It's like an Asian buffet, but with a French twist, obviously, for the locals. They had uh, scallops. So you can, because uh, they got like a tapenaki bar. They had cheese on a stick with shavings of beef, raw, raw beef wrapped around it, and then you take it to the grill and then they fry it. That was really nice, never had that. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, 
Maybe, maybe messed up, and he ate frog's legs, uh, deep fried frog's legs. <laughs> That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's like, mm, this doesn't doesn't look like a chicken wing. And I was like, no, this is a chicken wing. That's a frog's leg. It was next to the snails. So he should have known. We're parked up now in uh, the Kerry 4. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Uh, yeah, Kerry 4 uh, supermarket, hypermarket car park. There's no one else here. Um, everyone's gone home. There is electric charging over there, and I'm pretty sure my juicy brucey cable would work. I just need to figure out the app, but I'm good for electric, so that would be for another day. Um, there are some lorries parked up over there, so they're there for the night. Uh, there is a guy, a guy walking around over there. I don't know what he's doing, but that's you know he he do do your own thing, do what you're doing. Um, but yeah, nothing else is really going on. So, going to go lay down now, let the copious amounts of food go down, and then tomorrow I think we're going to crack through Belgium and head into the Netherlands, um, making our way up and finding an air ready, for, uh, ready to meet John and Mandy and John and Tash in a couple of days' time. <laughs> Me and Mev have survived our second, second night, isn't it? It, is our, it was our second night. Our second night in... Dunkirk. We didn't really move much yesterday. We went and done a few chores, air, air quotes. Um, got the internet sorted. We got some food. We went to a buffet. Lovely. And then we went back to the mart home with our fat bellies and just died. Now, <laughs> now we're up bright. Well, we weren't up. We were up pretty early. I was. Yeah, you was. I weren't. I was still snoring, I suppose. Um, <laughs> but yeah, up, we're all showered and fresh. I've just had a phone call from my doctors that my blood test that I had on Wednesday come back already. And they've just done, the nurse has just had a little consultation with me on the phone. And I'm very happy to say that keto is working wonders. Um, I am now I'll share something with you. It's not really, you know, people are going to probably say things. They're going to have their own opinions. But my H, HBA1C, I'm probably saying that the wrong way around, uh, in October was 101. That was really bad. Really, really bad. But as of today, or as of Wednesday, when I've done blood test, it come down to 60. So that's 41 point drop, which is absolutely freaking amazing. She wants me between 48 and 53. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Also my liver things have come down, which is great. So yeah, lovely bit of great news. Now we're gonna go into the supermarket again. We've got a few little bits to grab and then we're gonna hit the road to the Netherlands. Caravan for short people. Do you think I need a trailer on the back of mine, Mev? Yeah, you know. I could have my you... boat in there. I could have a boat in there. Yeah, things you want but don't need. Yeah, boat. Mm. Um, tons of other stuff which yeah, I don't jet, know. Jet ski or yeah. uh, ski do for when you go to somewhere snowy. Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, we are stuck in traffic. Aren't we? Yes. Mm. Traffic in... For another 20 minutes. This is another... Belgium, isn't it? It, it is. Yeah, we're coming up for Antwerp. <laughs> Don't call me Antwerp. <laughs> Don't call me Antwerp just because we're in traffic. No. Uh, it's not your fault. Don't hold it. <laughs> but we will be in the Netherlands soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, not not far now. 85 kilometres to our park up. Yeah. I mean, we, we have smashed quite a lot today. Yeah, yeah, three. Well, it'll be it will more be like up. four and a half by the time we get through all of this. Four and a half hours drive. Yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh. So what do you think of Belgian driving? Ah, uh, well... 
they're, uh, they're quite fast and they don't like leaving much space. As you can see from me now, I've left a nice gap between me and the vehicle in front. So I can just, you know, adjust my speed, easy, nice chill out driving. <laughs> the Belgians, they do not like leaving space. And they're just weaving in and out, all everywhere. It's quite funny. <laughs> you're, you're, you're getting a bit clammy over there, going, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And I don't know if we just had a bird just hit the door. Yeah. Something went bang against the door. I, yeah, there's a there's a splat on the uh, on the side of the boat home there. Yeah. I, See, look, I, look, look how quick they, they're up each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would just like be right up his ass. I love it. Yeah, there's nowhere to go when if someone no. uh, someone has if to someone stop. slams the brakes. If someone slams the brakes on, there is nowhere to go. But you know, if that's the way they do it, that's the way they do it. Yeah. You know, I'm down with it. I'm, I'm all right with it. I'll just uh, drive the way I do and just stay out their way. Yeah. I'll let them. Oh. That's one thing I've noticed. The white lines and the markers, they make different noises over over, over in Europe. Like, look. That's not a normal noise. No. But get... over, in, over in England, it, it yeah. makes a... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, look, I've got plenty of space. Yeah, yeah. They're all anchoring up immediately. Yeah, then we leave it black stripes on the road. <laughs> I'm leaving a black stripe on your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Netherlands. Welcome to the Netherlands. Oh yes, we're in the Netherlands, baby. Oh, what have you found, Daz? Uh, a milking machine. Where are we off to now? We are off to a shopping centre before we go to Amsterdam. Woo woo! What are you eating? A poo poo. A normal cookie. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 